color balloons for this weekend's ice cream theme dessert table backdrop. We have a pink, blue, yellow, and purple. I don't know why, for some reason, they look darker in the camera than they actually are in person, but they're like pastel tones. Except the yellow, it came in a little brighter than I wanted it to be, um, but it still works um, because of all the other things that I'm incorporating into this. Um, but yeah, those are the colors. And then I finally found my fishing line. So I have that, and this is the 15 pound fishing line. And then I also have balloon string. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use a fishing line, or not but either way it goes you can use either one of these to um put your balloon garland together and on my last video a lot of you guys were dming me and messaging me on um youtube and instagram asking me about um blowing up the balloon garland early um, what i typically do is if i blow it up early i have these huge um garbage bags that i purchased from walmart this is like this is the last one in the bag but it's like 60 gallons maybe a little bigger um yeah it holds quite a few balloons so when i blow them up early i put them in this bag so yeah definitely if i'm blowing my balloons up let's say a few days early um before i actually put the garland together i'll blow them all up put them in these bags and that way i don't know what it does but it um keeps the air in and better safe than sorry right so i definitely use the bags but if i'm doing it like the day before i'll just blow the balloons up as long as they're going to be like kept in the house i'll just blow the balloons up put the garland together and then the next morning i'll take it out which is what i did last time but i've done it with the bag without the bag a few days a day or so i mean nothing ever happened hasn't happened to my balloons yet um but yeah i just wanted to give that little bit of advice for you guys if you were wondering um about doing your balloons a little All right, bit so before i actually get started on doing the balloon garland and show you guys how i'm going to do that for this time and hang it i wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the setup without the balloons um this is pre-desserts the mom is doing all the cake and desserts and things this is just what i'm providing um before she does anything additional and so we'll start with the table this is just your regular um folded table that you can get at like Walmart or Costco, Sam's or whatever. Um, and then I put a pink tablecloth onto it. And then I put the table skirt on. And I also put the streamers here across the front that help in pulling all the colors together. These are the balloons um, that I'm going to show you guys a little later. But this is how they look. I just blew up a few just to see what the color looked like. Um, so I have the tool skirt, the tassel garland. And then on the table, well, I'll do the backdrop first. So the backdrop is actually something I purchased uh, from Amazon. If you actually have looked at my Amazon store that I created, um, you would have already seen that. It's less than 20 bucks. Um, it does have creases in it. I'm going to run the iron over it. This was just how I was setting up just to make sure that I liked how everything was looking. I do have a board that I created on my Amazon store specifically for ice cream party. On the sides, I do have the drapes that I purchased from uh, cvlinens.com. That is also where I got my table skirt from. Um, and then on the actual table, I have a few trays that are going to be used for desserts. I purchased these ice cream favor boxes. Um, if you again, if you've been on my Amazon store, then you should have seen these already. But this is what they look like. You actually um, have to assemble them. They don't come already assembled. So this took quite some time. Um, but you just basically put whatever you want inside of the box area. So I have quite a few of those that she can stuff with um, any type of additional candies. Have this ice cream ice cream truck that I also purchased from Amazon and it's also listed on my Amazon store. It's really cute. You have to assemble this as well. Um, it comes with a sign and then it was supposed to come with little cups and cones that go at the top but for some reason mine didn't come with it and I had already assembled it and everything before I realized it so I was like okay so I went out to Hobby Lobby and purchased some little cups that can be placed on there with treats. And then I also found these in Target when I went in the other day. They are lip gloss, ice cream lip glosses, which I think are super cute. I'm not gonna open those just yet. She can distribute those on whoever she wants. And then I'm thinking they have the mini ice cream cones now that you can buy at Walmart and things. So she can just use those at the top and put some goodies in there. Then I have another dessert tray and i actually purchased these out of target they are so cute 
And believe it or not, they are only $1 in the Target dollar spot. Every now and then on my Instagram stories, when I see cute stuff, I post it for you guys if you're having a theme party. But the thing is, you have to be consistent with checking the dollar spot because they change it like during seasons and holidays and add new super cute things. Um, but I do plan on keeping these for events. I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate these when I actually do the setup for her because I don't know... Um, if she'll be able to use them for anything, I might save them for future parties. But yes, those are super cute. And I thought they would look cute while I was showing you guys um, this setup. So yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into setting up the balloons. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do what I'm thinking. I saw this cute picture that had balloons down the side. So I'm thinking I'm going to do color blocks of balloons coming down the sides, down and out, um, and see how that looks. But I think that's what I'm going to go for that way. I won't cover up the little awning at the top of the storefront because if I go across the top, the balloons are definitely going to cover that up. So I think I'm going to stick with coming down the sides and I may or may not need the curtains after that, but we'll see. So just stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, so I'm about to start um, stringing the balloons. I don't even know if you guys can see me, but <laughs> I'm gonna be going with my balloon string. I was gonna use the, I'll squat down here. I was gonna use the um, fishing line, but I don't know, I feel like my hands move a lot better with the balloon string, so I'm gonna be using that today. I guess I can do a quick intro. Yeah! It's Dakota, if you don't know, if this is your first time here, she always finds her way in my vlogs. But I'm going to um, use the balloon strings. I'm going to do color blocking this time. I'm not going to mix all the colors in. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if this is your first time watching, you may want to go back and watch one go back and watch one of my first balloon garland tutorials where I really do go into depth. Um, this one I'm going to kind of glide through. As always, I'm going to start with this bigger cluster of yellow to kind of get the sizing good as far as how I want it to be on the bottom. I'm going to take my string and can you guys see that good? And tie a knot around the balloon like so i'm gonna double tie it to make sure it's good and i'm gonna start adding in my balloons all right and since i have my first cluster i'm gonna get another set of yellow crisscross it go over the new over the existing and then on my first one, I like to do it on all the balloons that are there. So I'm just going to go over the new. Uh -oh, I think I got my finger. <laughs> I'm going to go over the new and then back over the existing. When you come to the top, give it a slight pull, not too tight because you can pop the balloons if you pull too tight with the string. And then I'm just going to keep working my way on up, filling in certain gaps until I get it shaped how I want. And then I move on to the next All right, guys, so this is what the first part looks like. I don't have it attached to the pole just yet. I just wanted to kind of get an idea of the height um, for it. 
Um, but that's her. And I'm going to do another side. I'm going to do the other side now and then we'll attach it. And I'll set this baby up on tomorrow at the event. I tied the balloons to the poles using the string, um, the balloon string. Um, I did it at the very top up here, and then I did one on the yellow and one on the pink to support the sides. And thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next vlog if you have not subscribed please go ahead and do so and go ahead and push that bell notification that you so that you get notified every time that I post a video and you're not tardy to the party see you guys next time bye